So you might be wondering if you want to go ahead and buy an iPad device or a Samsung Galaxy tablet. Now, iPad, you know, Apple and Samsung make tons of different devices throughout their whole entire lineup. And there's not really one that I look at that I'm like, okay, yeah, this is the one that, you know, is 100% better than the other one. Because truth be told, they kind of have tablets in the same price range. Samsung makes their, you know, newest, you know, the newest tablets, the Tab S series, but they also have their older, you know, Tab A series. And sometimes they have the light series as well. With Apple, they have iPads in all sorts of range and sizes and prices. They have the iPad minis, they have the iPad, you know, standard generation, the base generations of 9, 10, you know, future of 11. They have the more expensive ones like the iPad Airs and the iPad Pros. And they even have the iPad mini somewhere in the middle. So it is actually a very cool thing that Samsung and Apple do, but there are lots of features and differences between them as well. The big thing I want to hit on is, you know, Android and iPad OS. We kind of know, you know, at this day and age, there's very different feature sets between both. So again, it's just one of those things to keep in mind here. You are going to be getting various different types of, you know, features and things like that between both from that standpoint. One thing I do like about, you know, the Tab S series is that you do have the ability of installing your own APK files on Android. iPads, we don't really do that, but you have an amazing amount of applications on both. So that's always something to keep in mind. I will also say the hardware used to be a little bit better on the iPads, but now that Samsung has now changed that standard Galaxy Tab S display to an OLED display, I think that has given the display a little bit more of an edge on the Galaxy Tab S side than on something like the iPad Pro side. So that is kind of a new development here. And that is something I really do like about, you know, the Galaxy Tabs. Both of them have USB-C ports. They have front facing cameras, back cameras as well. The camera quality is definitely going to be different on both. I would probably say though, the iPads typically do have kind of better cameras than the Galaxy Tabs, which has always been kind of interesting to me, but they're both very solid cameras on both as well. And if you're comparing the Ultra to the Pro, you're definitely probably getting similar camera qualities. But I've always said that, you know, Galaxy Tab cameras are good, but the iPad cameras, you know, kind of in correspondence is usually a little bit better. Now, going on with the build quality, both of them have flat sides, everything like that. One thing I do like about Samsung Galaxy tablets, though, is that they do usually have micro SD card slots. So you can actually go ahead and expand that storage out, which I think is actually really cool. iPads don't have this type of capability. You can always install external drive, but you do have this type of capability natively inside of your Samsung Galaxy Tab, which is a very, very cool thing. Now, I would also like to add, they both have stylus support. If you're comparing the you know Galaxy Tab S's to the iPad Pros, even the standard iPads, we all have Apple Pencil support and we all have S Pen support on the Galaxy Tab. So that is something that's really cool. You have that type of capability between both, but I do like the way Apple kind of positioned theirs. They kind of put it in the right spot, I think over the top of the iPad, whereas on the Galaxy Tab, it's kind of on the back. I'm not really the biggest fan of that, but I do love how Samsung gives you that, you know, stylus, the S Pen, right inside of the box. They don't make you buy it, like Apple makes you buy it. So that might be another kind of an advantage for the Galaxy Tab right there. Performance wise, it's going to be kind of all up in the air. You know, with the iPads, you have that Apple Silicon now, so it's really nice. It's a desktop level chipset. It's very fast and it's very smooth and it's probably gonna be sticking around for a long period of time. On the Samsung Galaxy Tab side, I don't know if this is, you know, the best, I would tell you that this is the best performing tablet Samsung's ever made, but I don't know how it compares necessarily to iPads because when you compare them neck and neck, they're very similar in performance. They're very, very smooth and fast. But I have always liked with the Samsung Galaxy Tabs, like I said, you have the ability of installing your own APK files. That is big for me. Being able to install any app or game or emulator that I want to download is massive. And you have the type of capability on the Galaxy Tab. You don't necessarily have it on the iPad Pros. So to kind of sum up this video, what I'll definitely tell you is there are lots of features, advantages, and differences between both, but I definitely do like some of the features between the Galaxy Tab, and I love some of the features in the iPad Pro as well. I don't know if there's one that's like the best one in my opinion, but both of them have really cool features and I'm really, really happy about both of them. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.